hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel as you've seen by the title this is gonna be um a story time and basically a sad one at that um, i brought coco on this channel if you can remember about um, close to nine months ago when she was just a pup and um she basically basically lost her on the 11th of january 2021 and i'm just here to share with you guys what happened and what i think happened and uh, maybe one of two pet owners or dog owners can learn from um, my experience and definitely um, not go through what I did. Um, so basically, I'm going to start from the beginning. So we had Coco about in May 2020. She was just a very cute, small, lovely puppy. She loved eating. She loved playing. Um, she basically was just fun to be around. At first, she was very annoying because she would pee and poo everywhere. But as time went on, I think she she was learning. She had a particular spot where she pees and poos. She liked eating. She liked playing. She liked jumping on 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 her bodies, and she also loved playing with her toys. Um, fast forward to December 2020, we went home to our parents' house um, for the holidays, and she was very well. She was fine. She was about seven months, going to eight months at that time. She was very okay. Um, when we left our parents' house, we decided to go. Uh, I don't even know. We just she had so her hair had grown out so much, and we decided to go straight to the hospital. Um, my sister decided to register her in a hospital um, somewhere that if she has any issues, can definitely just go to. This particular hospital is in Ikeja. Um, we got there and basically um, they did a couple of tests. Um, we took her blood. They took her. They took her they shared this like even a swab and stuff. So we tested her for um, different things. They also gave her, I think, one medicine. Um, we got food there from the, the hospital. We also um, got drugs for like tea or anything. They just wanted to be certain that she doesn't have anything like that. Because this was like the first time we were taking her out of the house for a long period in somewhere else in time. So we just said to take all those pre precautionary measures. Um, I'm going to start, what I think is that um, because we went to the hospital, I basically think that was where all this drama started. Um, after taking her to the hospital, we decided to have like a grooming session for her done. And we basically told that we couldn't do that grooming particularly at that point in time, that we should drop her and come back for, in about two or three hours for, to pick her up. And uh, so grooming, if you don't know what grooming basically is, um, it just means um, shaving, beating her shaving her hair off so that at least maybe the new one can grow and be all messy and flying or shedding everywhere so we basically did all that we left her in the clinic or the hospital we went home and in about two or three hours came back to pick her um so my, my sister went to pick her and her experience of her what she said happened was on arrival at the hospital when she saw coco she was amazed she couldn't recognize her not only because her hair was shaved off but also because she was not even all playful and jumpy anymore. She was very quiet and she was staying in one place. So she was like, okay, maybe it's because of the head, because maybe she's shy or something. So as a female dog, I guess they have feelings and emotions like the normal, regular female, human female do. So we brought her home, but we also noticed that her countenance had changed. She wasn't playing, she wasn't coming out of her cage. You call her out to play with her and she runs back to her cage. So we were like amazed, like, what's going on? Are we sure this is our dog? Do you understand? Like, all that was said, but we kept on watching her. And we then noticed about two or three days after that she still seeing her period. So basically, um, female dogs like I don't know, she's a Lassa Abso dog. So basically, dogs like that see their period maybe about you hear within six to eight months. Well, she was seven months going to eight months. So she still seeing her period. So when we noticed that we we're like, okay, maybe that's why she's moving because we we're trying to relate to the normal human to how you feel when you see your menstruation, you know, period. So we just felt okay because she was seeing her period, maybe that's why she was. Moving. So next, definitely she was being around the house, she didn't want to eat, she didn't take water and uh, we basically googled and called a couple of people that had um, dogs like her, like Lasso and her kind of breed and they explained to us that it would take about 10 to 14 days for her to get out of this phase because of the period, it takes that long. We're like okay, at least we have an idea of what's going on. Um, I think after 5 days, she basically um, started coming out of the cage, she was eating a little and we were happy that okay she's already getting herself once again but before we could say and before we knew what was happening she started throwing up she was refusing to eat and she started stooling blood guys she started stooling blood that was when you know it all went left for us 
she was rushed to the hospital that is hospital where she started her, her ass she was rushed there and um, the next thing we heard was that she had the pyro virus and that um, it's a 50 50 chance opportunity if you survive it or not and just a couple of weird things and i don't know i just had a feeling like we, we've been with her for like six seven months basically i've been with her for six, like seven six seven months and she was never ill we have even made sure she got all the immunizations or vaccines she needed to take at different times in her in her developmental stage she had taken all the vaccines and injections that she needed to take so i was like how did she get it how is that possible then you have them saying oh even when you take vaccines there's a slim chance of zero to blah blah percent where the dog can still contact it and stuff and we're like how how is that possible so i'm just here to share with you what i think happened i think i just think i'm not sure i'm not saying it is what happened but what i feel is that she got this virus from the hospital because obviously it's a hospital where you have different animals you have lots of dogs today when they saw a couple of dogs like barking and backyard inside the hospital so i just feel like she got it from that hospital maybe an item that was used to test her or it was not sterilized properly the space where she i don't know but or when we were grooming her the tools that were used i just feel she caught this virus from that space so basically um we got we had to leave her in the hospital um we were told that we we're going to be placed on admission and we dropped you know obviously huge box you know like animal hospitals are expensive we deposited like some amount of money and she was kept in the hospital for about uh, they told us that in five days um hopefully 50 50 percent chance we may see a progress or not so we dropped her and came back home um, we have been hopeful calling um checking calling the doctors once in a while to check up on her and in three days um in three days which was um, ended um, ended at january 11th got the call was a monday we got the call early that morning um that she couldn't make it that she died it was a very 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 sad and extremely i don't even know it was it was really sad because we just we, we just had her with us. It was like in the space of five days, she died. It's, it's amazing. I basically heard from a couple of people that power virus is a very, very dangerous disease that virus affects dogs. It, it, most of them don't survive and it's two days. You have them bleeding blood and like bleeding blood and before you know, they are gone. So, but I also hear of stories where people are trying to survive. It. So, um, I think what I learned from a couple of people that I spoke to that own dogs and pets, um, most of them do not take care pets to hospitals um i think because of the same thing i'm thinking happened maybe because they could catch some kind of virus or i don't know maybe they don't really pay attention to them or something but i had like two friends that told me they had pets that died before and that taking them to the hospital is what they feel happened that they didn't die so um if you own a pet my advice is get like a dedicated veterinarian that comes to your house to do all you need i don't think she exposed the dog actually like for the dogs that are not so strong so you have those really local dogs that are rough, rough, rough and so these are basically pet dogs they are home dogs so they are basically stay at home dogs if you don't want to expose them to um that kind of situation i think it's best to have a veterinarian that basically comes to your house and treats um, your dog or gives your dog the shots that she needs or she grooms her or does all that and um, this is a learning phase and a learning call, learning call for all because now we know that we shouldn't have done that like i wish i had spoken to my friends that i spoke to, spoke to um that i spoke to later if i had known that that was what they had gone through definitely we would have not taken her to the hospital to do or do anything in the beginning we would have just kept her at home and asked like a vet to come home and do what he needed to be done um so um this is basically like a story time to help you guys if you have any experiences losing pets or any experience about what i basically talked about please do let us know in the comment section um thank you guys so so much for watching thank you guys for um i don't know being with me on this channel uh, when i basically broke with she was always disturbing me in most of my videos you always see her walking around me climbing on me carrying her it was just a, a fun experience and i'm glad that we had her for that period so a couple of people have asked me if i'm going to get another pet when i shared it on my instagram page and my twitter and um, also tiktok i'm not sure yet if i'm going to get another pet but we still have her items like her cage her feeding bowl her water bowl her bed um so we're looking at getting another one but i think we just need to take a little breather first um therefore we'll get another pet definitely still going to be a lassa apso I'm not sure the color is going to be white, but yeah, I'm not sure it's going to be female this time, but definitely.
definitely you guys already know once the baby is on board once we get some another one i'm going to definitely share her journey with you guys do more because i know Coco, i didn't really share a lot of her journeys like um the kind of food she ate um and definitely different things that we had going on with her i didn't share that but i plan to do that if we get another place so thank you guys so so much for watching today's video i hope it was helpful to someone out there i hope you learned one or two tips if you know any other reason why you think it happened please do share with me in the comment section i'll be glad to interact with you and learn from your own experiences do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up smash that like button subscribe to this channel somewhere here below and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so so much for watching bye guys